from this 49th lesson i'll start to explain the inclusions inclusions are uh, the birth marks inclusions are the birth marks of a stone so if you carefully watch the inclusion we can identify the stone whether it is heated or natural or synthetic or beryllium heated or anything we can identify through the vision of the inclusions to see the inclusions we need 10x loop triplet loop or 30x 40x loops we can use more than the loop we need a microscope because in sometimes 70x needed to identify the ruby natural and heated ruby difference must be identified through the 70x or up magnification so we need to identify very well when we check the ruby we are starting ruby later when we check the ruby through the microscope we need more than 70x magnification to identify the uh, curved lines in some cases today we have the same materials like natural things so the uh, ri also same absorption spectra also same sg also same so the only difference between the natural and the heated ruby or synthetic ruby is natural and synthetic ruby not heated synthetic ruby is only the curved lines but these curved lines we can't see with the 10x or 20x 30x 40x so to see the curved lines the latest synthetic rubies they have improved so to check the latest we need more than 70x remember that then corundum sapphire natural inclusions we are learning from here inclusions are the birth marks of the gemstone and can identify properly the gem through these inclusions study so remember i need to give this knowledge to you to identify the gem through the lenses or magnification without going to the gem lab so it is very good and very interesting thing the thing is here we you have to uh, save the screenshots and take the printouts color printouts and file it because when you finish all the screenshots printouts you will rem remember everything so finally it is very easy thing to you now we are moving to next part so if you not if you are not subscribed yet please subscribe and share this to our youth because this is given by me for my youth free of charge now the first one this is very beautiful thing colorful thing what is this look at this it is a negative crystal what is the negative crystal means you know with mathematics you know in school you know the positive sign and the negative sign positive sign and the negative sign this line gray color line is like negative sign so it is called negative crystal it is a crystal so it is called negative crystal surrounded by dazzling fingerprints this is you can look at here it is the fingerprint like human beings fingerprints it's like a fingerprint so the name came fingerprint there so surrounded by this fingerprints this is the inclusion negative crystal seen in sri lanka sapphire it is sri lanka sapphire i have seen this in lot of stones very well sometimes without 10x magnification also i can see so this is given the uh, evidence to us it is not the heated or 
synthetic one it is natural sapphire negative crystal so this is called negative crystal look at this in here these are the rutile two types of rutile here this is one this is another one this is inside the stone. You can see the uh, 60 degrees. Look at this. These parallel lines. In between this, there are 60 degrees. You can see it also. Now, I am focusing this one and this one. Two types of rutiles. You can see. Fine rutile silk needles and the dark brown primary rutile crystals at the front. Dark brown and this is primary rutile. Primary rutile. It is primary rutile, white color one, identified by the micro Raman test. Note that when illuminated by reflected light, the surface of the primary rutile exhibits a very high luster so we can see it like white color. So this is uh, two types of rotile. Look at this. All are parallel lines. Rotile silk. So dramatic array of rotile silk needles. This is called rotile silk needles. needles. It gives us the evidence this Blue, uh, blue gemstone, blue sapphire is not heated. It is natural. These are the natural inclusions. So you can identify very well. And look at here. Look at this. All are like negative sign. This is big negative sign. This also negative sign. So this is called negative crystal. Cluster of negative crystals. Negative cluster, crystals cluster. In this sapphire, in center of this sapphire, negative crystals uh, cluster is there. Look at the fingerprints here. See? When we see this, we can identify the gem is natural, not heated. It is natural inclusions. So when we heat the gem, these inclusions will change us, destroy. And the inner inclusions will destroy and give the uh, some evidence to us to identify it as heated sapphire. So we are discussing here only the natural sapphires. When finished natural sapphires, we are discussing heated one. It is he uh, natural sapphire inclusion. Look at here. Another negative crystal here. Then... It contains dark color. Look at this. And here also. The dark color one is graphite. Graphite platelets. That means graphite plates. And these small needle-like thing. See the needle-like thing? Called diaspore needles. These are the diaspore needles. You can see the diaspore needles with graphite platelets inside the negative crystal. This is negative crystal. Inside the negative crystal, there are two platelets, graphite platelets, with diaspore needles inside. This evidence tells us it is natural. The stone is natural. These inclusions are natural. These birthmarks are natural. So it is easily can identify. Look at this. Another, another sapphire from Sri Lanka. Euhedral crystal pictured here. Euhedral crystal is here. This brown color crystal is euhedral. Euhedral means there are good shapes and sharp, easily identified planes are there. So 
easily ide- can identify planes are there so it is sharp faces are there so that shape is called e- u hedral so u hedral crystal is there so analysis with micro raman tells us and confirmed it is apatite crystal this is apatite crystal inside the corundum stone it is also sri lanka sapphire and here between the crossed polars when we discuss the seven lighting conditions you can rem- remember the crossed polars between the crossed polars identification it shows apatite crystal here also it is detected by the raman microscopy it is apatite it shows bright interference colors with the stone so this is this tells us it is also natural sapphire with apatite apatite identified by the micro raman spect- uh, spectroscopy or microscopy so if you forgot to subscribe yet please subscribe and share and give a comment and give a like and here it is a violet sapphire violet sapphire contains brown brown color see the contains brown color transparent crystals see transparent transparent we can see the other side through the uh, crystal so that means transparent so this violet sapphire here contains many brown transparent crystals those are identified as phlogopite phlogopite this is phlogopite crystals mica crystals it was identified through the raman spectroscopy so this inclusion tell us no change with the heat so it is natural so the violet sapphire is natural sapphire and this one here it is negative crystals are there with the fingerprint these small black crystals inside this you can identify the black crystals here those black si- crystals are uraninite the name of the crystal is uraninite are surrounded by the unusual red halo unusual red color halo surrounded by these they are set against the delicate fingerprint this is the fingerprint it sets against the fingerprint with tiny negative crystals you can see the negative crystals very tiny negative crystals all are here with the fingerprint that show no sign of heat treatment of these negative crystals and this one no signs of heated heated signs so this uraninite also shows us no change with the heat so this is natural sapphire this one you can see the two crystals those are calcite those are identified with micro raman spectroscopy as calcite crystals has a triangular zoning pattern triangular zoning pattern is here see triangular zoning pattern is here so it tells us the stone is natural no heat look at this here you can see dark orange brown crystal stand out sharply against a blue background it is blue blue background you can see this it is sri lanka sapphire this is phlogopite phlogopite crystal and this one also so look at the fingerprint here no changes it is natural so it is identified as natural sapphire look at here you can see this and look at this in some cases in sri lanka 
when the gym labs so the, those they will consider it is a glass discoid but this is not glass discoid so they will mistakenly identify it as discoids so they will give the report when it is writing report they gives it is heated stone but this is natural stone they can't identify the difference between these natural inclusions and heated glassy discoids they can't identify they will mistakenly identify this as glassy discoids so they will uh, write the report as heated not natural heated gemstone so it is mistake so remember this is not glassy discoids the sapphires contain several platinum metallic crystals this is platinum metallic crystals while an exact match could not be obtained for this particular crystal no exact match found yet one of the other crystals in the surface cut rock was a good match for graphite so this may be also a graphite so i think this is graphite this also graphite and remember when we see this can you see the parallel lines no curves here it is parallel no curves if it is a curve it is synthetic but all the lines are parallel remember this this is the mistakenly identified thing by the gemologist so they they will think these are the glass glassy discoids so they will write the uh, certificate as heated stone so it is a mistake so remember this is not these are not glassy discoids and this is graphite crystal inside the stone so this stone is natural sapphire look at this here we can see a blast like thing the moment of impact appears as of this sapphire had been shattered by a primary bullet when the bullet comes and happen this like in this chamber this is this tells us see the parallel lines and the fingerprints here nothing to tell no change with any heat it is natural when this happens under the 6000 celsius nothing happened these are the natural inclusions so it is natural look at this it is like just now blasted so it blast now right a with a bullet so this tells us it is natural the stone is natural i will tell more inclusions in the next part l50 lesson 50 l means lesson if you have subscribe and click the bell icon you will get it as soon as it is uploaded be kind enough to leave a comment after reading your comments will improve my service always follow the lesson number you will win please subscribe and share with our youth we will meet on next elf lesson number 